Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Karani back with another video. And in today's video, I am going to be unboxing and testing the GameSir G7 SE controller. Now I heard this controller is like really good for Fortnite and it's super fast. There's no drift on it. So we're gonna be testing all of that out in this video. But before you get into the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends, man. And yeah, let's just get straight into this video, man. I'm really excited to unbox this controller. Let's go. Guys, here we have the controller right here. Let's get to unboxing. Let's look at the back real quick. We have the front and the back of the controller. It's pretty fire. All right, so here we got the little sticker. Let's peel it off. Hmm. Get a little pull out. Bop. Ooh, it says game sir. Let's pull it out. All right. We got a box followed by another box. Oh yeah, like that. Ooh. All right. So here we got the cable. It's USB C to USB, and it comes with a nice little strap thing to keep your cables organized. That's that's hard, and it's long too. And and it's a white cable to match my PC. It's gonna look so tough. I like that. I like that. All right. And then here we got. Let's get this controller. Ooh. All right, guys. Here we have the controller. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And we got some stuff in here too. Here we have the game, sir. Ooh, Come on, let me feel the paddles though. Ooh, the paddles feel so nice. And it's, a, it's so small, it feels so good in my hands. Wow. So the feeling of the control, I give it a 10 out of 10. And it has some nice grips in the back too. Ooh, yo, I can't wait to play Fortnite with this. So we're gonna get some Fortnite gameplay. Also on the back, I realized that you could, if you guys don't want to play with paddles, I'm going to try to play with paddles because that's what some of my favorite controller players do. But if you don't want to play with paddles, you can literally turn it off and it doesn't move. Like, you can't tell me that is not official, bro. That is so official. And I play claw too, but I don't really like claw. So I could really just learn how to use these paddles with the software because it also comes with a software as well. Oh my gosh, bro. Let's see what's in here. Got this. We got an Xbox game pad. Ooh. It's hard. And we got some instructions. Oh, we got a sticker too? Yo, you can't tell me that's not tough. I'm gonna have to put this somewhere or just save it. Look at that. You got a nice sticker in there too. Thank you, game sir. Appreciate that. They got a Discord community. Wow. I'm really impressed with the unboxing. I give that unboxing like a like a 10 out of 10, honestly. But the presentation is amazing, bro. Like now we gotta go into Fortnite. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a hand cam going for you guys, and we're just gonna be testing out the controller. Also, hold up. Let me let me also test something. I want to test if I can put a control freak on it. This is a PS5 control freak, but um, these are like PS5 joystick sizes. So I don't even think the Xbox One could fit on it. So let me try the PS5 one. Yes, guys, it fits perfectly. Cause I don't like playing without this the control freak and it fits on the control freak so i mean the control freak fits on the controller so if you guys need a if you guys use control freaks then you get a ps5 one okay because the ps5 one fits on the games here not the xbox one the xbox one is too small the the ps5 one fits on it perfectly as you can see all right so yeah let's get straight into the fortnite gameplay let's go Woo! All right, guys, we are now in creative with the GameSir controller, and we're going to be free building and playing with the settings a little bit, playing with my Fortnite settings a little bit to, you know what I'm saying, get used to the controller, but so far, 
Let's let's test that out real quick. Ooh, it's so smooth, yo! Look, oh, bro, I'm cooking with it, bro. I'm more of a smooth player on controller instead of fast, so that's kind of why my builds are not that fast. But whoa, I could get used to this. Maybe I need to like higher my sense a little bit. Maybe. Oh, yo, you guys see how I'm cooking with this a little bit? No cap. Bro, I love how this controller feels, bro. It feels way better than my PS5 controller. Holy. Hold up. Let me see if I can hit. All right, I, I definitely got to adjust my build sense a little bit. All right, so let me show you guys my controller sense. So right here, we have the build sensitivity at 8. Yeah, we're going to definitely need to turn that up. No, that wasn't my. Yeah, that's the build. Edit, we'll turn that up. Maybe we'll turn this up to like three. I don't know what this is. Enable the setting to ignore the boost ramp. Yo, comment down below, guys, if this uh, should be on or off. I don't know. ADS is at five? Yo, they're trying to... I'm... Bro, what are my settings? It's crazy, bro. Right, let me play now. Let's go. Oh, that's way better. Alright, now this might be a little too fast, actually. Nah, I, oh. I'm, I'm gonna probably change my edit bind. My, cause right now I play with Claw. And I don't, I don't really wanna play with Claw anymore. I don't really wanna play Claw. So I'm probably gonna switch one of these to my edit bind. And then one of these to my sprint bind. Or, or one of these to my edit and then one to my jump and then probably make A my sprint bind. And still play. Actually, I don't, I'll, I'll have to figure it out. I don't know. But so far, bro, this controller is a, this controller is really good, bro. And I haven't like, look at this, no drift. Look at it. Look at it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with the sticks. Bro, let me tell you guys. The first day when I got my PS5 controller, bro, and I plugged it in to play Fortnite, and I went for like, uh, what, like a 10 hour sesh of playing Fortnite, bro? Like, I kid you not, the controller just started drifting, bro. I started like full, I just see my Fortnite character going like this. Like, on the first day! Like, are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious? I paid like a hundred for that controller. You're telling me, like, come on, dog, like, come on, bro, bro. Let me at least go a month without some stick drift. So, man, hopefully the controller doesn't cap in his wrap. What am I talking about? This controller doesn't cap in its wrap. But hopefully this controller doesn't give me stick drift. I'm gonna have to keep trying it out. Not trying it out, but using it. But I don't think it's gonna get stick drift because it has these things called hall, hall effect sticks, where like the sticks are made out of magnets or something. And this it's the same one on the Nintendo Switch controller. And when I had a Nintendo Switch controller, well, my brother had a Nintendo Switch, and his controller didn't have any drift on it. So I'm trusting that these are not gonna have any type of drift on it, which would be a really good thing. Yeah. So. Let me, let me create some 90s real quick, and then we're going to go into a box fight and see how we do in a box fight. I'm, I'm getting used to... I'm getting used to it. As I, I'm getting used to the controller, as you can see. A little bit. All right, guys, let me go into a box right now. Let's go. I also binded one of my paddles to my sprint bind so I can like sprint way easier. But I'm at, 
I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that because I keep pressing it by accident a lot. Like, bro, I can just 200 pump so easily on this controller. It's actually insane, bro. Oh my goodness. I'm bugging out right now. Oh, yo, bro, I have aimbot. What's going on here? I'm only hitting 200 pumps right now. Yo! Oh my gosh, bro. What's going on here, bro? I'm only hitting 200. Hey. Hey, bro. I'm not cheating right now, bro. I am not cheating. I don't know what's going on, bro. I, I think this kid is just bad. Because why am I only hitting one? Bro, I just hit like three, one, eight, three, two hundreds in a row. And now this kid is about to give up. Or not. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, buddy. You get out of my lobby, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. I'm taking this W. Real game, sir, GSR skill. Boy. Now you're giving up, bro. Nope. almost got me right there. I need to watch out. Bro, I'm so trash, bro. I can't, like, I don't know how to. You can change the volume on the controller, too? What the? Oh, never mind. I accidentally touched my headset. You stop blending this. Game. Yeah! 200! 200, boy! 200 boy Come on, let me get a 200 Let me get a 200 Come on I do want to hit 200 200 Yo, watch out, bro Controller Controller Pre fire?
Yes, go. Let's go. Yes, go. Bro, what am I saying right now? Let's go, guys. We just won the game. Yes, sir, bro. This GS, this game, sir. Controller, bro, was amazing, bro. It just helped me win the the game against this guy right here, bro. Let's go, bro. But yeah, guys, I give this controller a nine out of ten, bro. It feels so good. It's definitely worth. How much does it cost? It costs forty-five dollars, bro. It's definitely worth forty-five. Definitely. It's way better than a regular Xbox controller. It doesn't get stick drift, none of that. And it's definitely worth your money. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends, man. Use code Karani in the Fortnite Adam shop. And become a member of the channel if you guys wanna support me as well. And yeah, guys, it's been your boy Karani. Peace.